Hello, this is Sandra Katz and today we're gonna check out the easiest way to form the Vaporate Lattice. If you want to find out how I did it, stay tuned and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. First and foremost, in order to have a chance to get the lattice, you need to unlock the cipher system by doing the first three chapters in Zereth Mortis and you want to prioritize the top row so you can open up as soon as possible the Indialic Understanding. This will give you a quest called Protoform Synthesis which grants access to the pet Crafting Forge. Ok, now we can proceed to the actual farming. You need to head down to Pilgrim's Grace and you want to look for the Desert Viperids. They are tiny snakes and because of their size it's a bit hard to actually see them and they do have actually a unique design. The Viperid Lattice is a protoform synthesis component that is used to create two battle pets. The first one is the archetype of Cunning and the second one is the Viperid Menace. And these are actually quite expensive. The lattice goes around 100k on my server. The Viperate Menace goes 3 times that, and the Archetype actually goes 6 times that. So you can actually make a good chunk of gold by farming the Viperates, but again, depends on your server economy. To compare, I am on a high population server in EU. The Desert Viperates spawn around Pilgrim's Grace in both east and west side. You can copy the coordinates from the description or you can check my links of Warhead. Most of them appear in the top area, whilst the bottom area there are only three of them. Ok, since I clear that area, I'm gonna go through the town and go to the other side. There is one behind the golden ball. One to the right side, uh, next to the statue. and one where the grass begins. If you want, you can also track your attempts with the add-on reality. You can manually add the ID of the uh, lattice and the ID of the NPCs, the Viperids. You can find the IDs from the URL of the um, specific NPC in Warhead. It's the number next to the NPC. These take around 5 minutes to respawn by the way, so you can do other stuff and come back again 5 minutes and redo the route I showed you. So as you can see there are 6 mobs in the east side and 3 on the west side, so a total of 9 mobs each route. I made around 3-4 uh, rounds as well before uh, this video, so it probably took me around 50 attempts to get uh, one, but again, it's a bit low chances, 0.7 according to Warhead. So, around 100 or 200 attempts, you should definitely see one of two. 
I'm gonna hold on to it by the way see if the price goes up a bit because it used to be 200k and now it's half price I'm assuming many people started farming this or then buffed the end drop chance I don't know I doubt it so I'm gonna hold on to it and maybe craft the pets to make a bit more gold on top of it if you go to the pet forge you can actually see that the archetype of canning it needs 300 genocide mode this drop from any mob in Zereth Mortis and then glimmer of canning this one is actually from the Tarknidex and the viperid lattice is the one we got from the desert viperids and for the Viperid Menace, you want uh, again 115 Genesis mod, one Viperid Lattice, and one Glimmer of Vigilance. This one actually drops from Overground Drifter and Overground Bulwark. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!